So we meet again on the hidden spotlight treasures. I can imagine if Elvis Presley saw this huge collection that we have been given access to, that he would probably give us one of these looks. Yes, I am here to tell you again that we have been given access to one of the biggest, largest private collections west of the Mississippi. And we will be bringing many, many unique, rare pieces to you. We will also be bringing you mystery pieces, like this antique mystery Japanese watercolor or woodblock print. We're not sure. It's a little too big to be your standard woodblock print, so we're thinking it's a ink drawing or watercolor. The problem is we do not know who the artist is, so we will be bringing you some videos which are like the mystery artist. And who knows, maybe there's an art collector out there who will be able to identify some of the mystery pieces. It'll be like a challenge. It should be fun. So check back every day or so because you really don't know what we're going to pull out of this collection. Yeah, these are either woodblock prints or watercolor drawings. We think they came off of a screen or they were in books. And if they were in books, they've somehow glued the mulberry paper together. As you can see, the mulberry paper has been glued together here. And um, you can see the, there's the artist's signature. There's uh, the artist's signature. We believe these are 1800, late eight, 1800s. The has holes in the mulberry paper. I guess it's also possible that these were cut out of a screen and then framed. So um, they're too big to be your standard size woodblock print that they sold uh, normally. They're, right, they're, they're too they're, big. They're too big for that. So if they are woodblock prints they were put onto a screen or they were in books and they were possibly glued together I don't know. So if there's any experts out there to know for sure whether they think these, these came out of an old Japanese book or were they part of a screen. And so here we, we have antique Japanese woodblock prints or watercolors. Very unique. 